the Thunder 380 Plus. Let's check it out. Guys, I get a lot of questions about what is the firearm for me? What are my choices? What, what's out there? And of course, we do a ton of gun reviews. Uh, but sometimes just one gun doesn't fit all. And it's a matter of experience. It's a matter of what kind of recoil that you can take. Uh, you know, your body size, you may be a small person, you may be large. And I find myself hearing a lot of times husbands that get in touch and say, you know, my wife just doesn't want a nine millimeter. It's just a little too much. Uh, she prefers a 380. What's a good choice? Uh, for a long time, I've done a number of reviews on the Bursa Thunder 380. Uh, but today we're going to take a look at the Bursa Thunder 380 Plus. Uh, whereas the standard 380 holds 7 rounds, the Bursa Thunder Plus holds 15 and 1. And yet the recoil is light. And then another thing that's very appealing is that it's more in the budget price range. And these are made in Argentina. In fact, they were founded in 1958. It's a very established firearm manufacturer and has really high quality standards. Uh, the Thunder 380s have been their most popular pistol by far. And with the Thunder Plus, this is actually the first one that I've ever handled. If you want to see a Bursa factory tour, uh, Olight just went down there and while they were down, went ahead and went through the factory and it's a great video. I have it annotated right here above. And guys, I want to thank Eagle Imports for sending the Bursa Thunder 380 Plus for this test and evaluation. Now again, the Thunder 380 has been Bursa's flagship. I mean, that is by far their most popular. And that is in the single stack model. I mean, the, the Plus is one of those that you don't see quite as much. Let's go ahead and drop our magazine. Uh, it is a 15 round steel magazine. And then check the chamber and the gun is empty. Now this is a double single action pistol. It's hammer fired. Let's go ahead and put my magazine back in because there is a magazine disconnect. So we're going to go ahead and drop the hammer. We have a decocker. Bring it back up. When you, this gun is loaded and you've decocked the pistol and you pull the trigger, it is a really smooth double action, but it's fairly heavy. Uh, with subsequent shots, the hammer will be back when the slide comes back. It is a much quicker, easier trigger pull. And then we have reset right about there. So really the big thing about the Bursa Thunder Plus is that we have 15 plus one. And when with a standard Bursa Thunder 380, we have eight plus one. That's almost double the magazine capacity. And so if you don't mind a little bit of a larger handgun, this really gives you a lot of advantages with this caliber. The frame is aluminum. And of course this one is in the two-tone. Uh, typically with the Bursa Thunders, they have a number of different colors. And so then we have these rubberized grips, which I really like these grips. I mean, it, it fills your hand, but it's not too fat. I mean, it's not too thick. And then we have, of course, your black anodized slide, which is steel. Uh, we have, you know, your magazine release right here that's very positive and it ejects those magazines out. Your slide release right here and uh, it, or slide stop. And then, of course, with the decocker, which is a safety. So if you bring this down, it's going to be in the safe position. You're not going to have any trigger action. Bring it back up, and then you're ready to go. Uh, one of the dangers, though, of this staying in the down position is that you can put a round in the chamber, drop the hammer, and then forget to bring your safety up. Because this is a safe way to carry. And that way, you're ready to fire immediately. You don't have to think about that safety. And this is the same way with the Beretta 92. Uh, it does that. It'll drop down and stay down. The beaver tail right here that comes up, it makes it nice. Uh, keeps hammer bite, slide bite. And sometimes, especially on smaller guns with guys with larger hands, that can be a problem. The serrations are fairly easy to grab as well. 
and so it's just a, a a fairly ergonomic gun all the way around now your takedown lever is here on the other side and we'll take a look at that in a minute uh, the magazine release can be switched to the other side so that that's a big plus the trigger guard you have some serrations on the front uh, if the grip is a little bit too thick you know you can always take and trim off this front strap but guys it's not thick in your hand I'm gonna go ahead and drop the decocker now one of the things about the decocker is with the hammer back sometimes it can be a little stiff and the more I use it the easier it gets I found that with all the bursts of Thunder 380s. It has dovetailed sights and they are three dot. They're fairly small, but really the good contrast with the slide, they're easy to see. And then we just have a rib right here. There's no real serrations, but because of this anodized matte finish, you don't necessarily need it. Then of course here we have Thunder 380 plus. And the other side just has your markings. Uh, you know, it's a fairly clean looking firearm and very reminiscent of the Walther PPK. You'll notice right above the trigger, this is a trigger lock. And there's a key that you can lock that if you're going to store the gun and you want to make sure the gun is inoperable. I personally do not like that. Um, and then they do have the magazine disconnect. If we drop the magazine, it just makes the trigger inoperable. And I'm not a big fan of that. But a lot of people, especially law enforcement, really like that. If the gun's ever taken from you and you drop the magazine, they can't fire it or use it against you. Commander style hammer, so it's really easy to grab and cock. Um, now, one of the big things about this pistol, guys, and, and I'll tell you, it was funny when I was shooting it at the range. When you shoot, that first double action trigger pull is typically heavy. And it is heavier than the single action, and that's the way it's designed. It's almost a safety feature. But with this pistol, when I bring this back, I, guys, that is so just so smooth I mean so smooth uh, and it's really just it it's a testament to the quality of these parts that are in here and then once it's in the rear position a little bit of take up a little bit of stacking and then a nice break now we first insert the magazine charge the handgun the gun is now in the hammer back position next we're gonna take we're gonna decock the hammer and push it back up to get it off safe. That first shot is going to be longer. Subsequent shots, the hammer's in the rear position. If we decock the handgun and bring it back up into fire, double action. Subsequent shot, single. Got to make sure you train for that. The one great thing about the Bursa is that it is a super smooth a hammer, even double action trigger pull is really smooth. We're going to take our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. We're going to check the double action trigger pull. Seven pounds, 12.7 .7 ounces. Seven pounds, 10.9 ounces. Let's check the single action trigger pull. 3 pounds, 10.9 ounces, 3 pounds, 9.8 ounces. Now this is a fixed barrel blowback design. Uh, the barrel is 3.5 inches. It's about 6.5 inches in length and about 5 inches high. Uh, the width is about 1.3 or 1 and a third inches. Now one big thing is the grip width. And here you can see that it has the single stack. Uh, it's fairly thin. And then we have the double stack which of course you can see is a little is obviously thicker. Now here it gives you a little better view of the grip. Uh, it's one and a quarter inches on the grip width. Here it's about one inch. So it's not really that much of a difference. But in your hand you can definitely feel that the plus is a little thicker. And the weight on the Thunder Plus, one pound, 5.4 ounces. I want to thank Fioki USA for sponsoring the ammo. Uh, this is 95 grain, 380 ACP, full metal jacket. And uh, I'll tell you, this little magazine go, loads a lot easier with a Lula loader, big time. And your standard Lula loader will fit any double stack magazine like this. Now, while we were down at the range, one of the big things you'll notice is the recoil is mild. This is a very manageable handgun, and 380 is fairly manageable anyway. 
uh, with a single stack. But when you go with a double stack, you have a little more grip in your hand. You have the rubberized grips, which makes it very comfortable to shoot. But one of the biggest things that surprised me was how smooth the trigger was. Uh, and then this gun has been safety checked. We pulled that trigger. In fact, I was demonstrating double action. And I first thought that I had it on single action. It was so smooth and light. And of course, subsequent shots, you know, you're gonna have that hammer in the rear position and ready to fire a little bit quicker. But the trigger pull on these is excellent. Uh, the weight, because it is an aluminum frame, uh, you know, it's very lightweight, and yet you've still got 15 and one in the magazine. So you can really put some rounds down range, and in a self-defense situation, you just have extra capacity. But again, the gun just shot flat, it shot well, no malfunctions. Uh, we did have one. Uh, we had one, uh, it was at the end of the magazine, and it just didn't seem to want to go up. And, uh, and that was it. I mean, the gun just really performed well. Now, while the three-dot sights are fairly small, uh, but for a concealed carry piece, you really want that. But they're very easy to pick up because of the contrast between this matte black finished slide and the sights. And so it was very easy to get on target. Now let's go ahead and drop the magazine. We're gonna disassemble the firearm and the gun is unloaded. Uh, first thing we wanna do is to bring our takedown lever around. And when you do, just bring your slide back and lift up from the back. And this is gonna bring it loose. Now, it, sometimes it'll take a second, there we go, to pull it loose and get it over this barrel hood. But here we go, we've got our recoil spring and guide rod. It is a fixed barrel design, as you see. And so uh, the barrel is attached. And this really aids in accuracy, uh, especially like with the Walther PPK and a lot of other blowback designs. It's just a very stable system, but it's very simple. And 380 is the highest caliber that can go in the blowback action. Uh, once it gets to nine millimeter, the pressures are a little bit too high. But guys, that's all you need to do to field strip. Uh, to reassemble, just bring back your recoil spring and then your slide. and then bring it all the way back, making sure your takedown lever's down and you're back in business. So it's really a very simple system. We're gonna insert the magazine because of the disconnect and test for function. And we're good to go. It does come in this hard plastic box and we have foam, of course the pistol underneath. We have our owner's manual and we have a lock for the pistol. Uh, one thing, though, that you will note is that there is only one 15-round magazine, which to me, uh, I would like to have seen two, especially for this, but one is what you get. The manufacturer suggested retail price on the Bursa Thunder Plus is $370. Uh, I've seen it in a number of places for around the $295 range, which is very reasonable for this type of handgun. The standard Thunder runs about $230 street price, so it gives you kind of a contrast. Uh, the magazines, though, are the 15-rounders. Um, they are fairly expensive. I think on the Bursa website, they're like $43 retail. I did see them on Gun Mag Warehouse, and I also saw them on um, Galanti International, and they were running in the mid-30s. So that's a little bit more reasonable in price. But that is the one thing that I would like to see, though, is at least one extra magazine with this pistol. Guys, if you're in the market for a 380, but you really don't want the micro 380s like the LCP or the Smith & Wesson uh, Bodyguard or, or those type really small handguns that are hard to master, I think that the Bursa Thunder 380 series is an excellent choice. With the single stacks, they're very thin, uh, the recoil is minimal, and, but then with the Plus, you're going to get those extra rounds that are going to make this just give you a little more comfort. I really appreciate Eagle Imports for sending the Bursa Thunder Plus for this test and evaluation and letting us just show you guys what's out there. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic.
Where's my little loader? You fit a lot of different people. For that matter, any of the verses. Okay. Either the Smith and Wesson, uh, whatever that is, what is the Smith and Wesson? 